If you want to know all there is to know about BitLoafers, stick around. What's going on, family? Welcome back to the channel. Happy July. I feel like this year has definitely been blowing by us considering the situation that we're in. This week's video is going to be about horse bit loafers. There are a ton of different options for loafers out there, but only one that actually makes a huge statement and that is the horse bit loafer. I said that during the summer, there's a 60% chance that you're going to catch me in loafers and about a 40% chance that I'm going to be wearing sneakers. So these are very much my go-tos for the summer. In this video, we are going to talk about the history of the horse bit loafer. We'll talk about the characteristics of the horse bit loafer. And at the very end, just like I always do for you guys, I do a little mini lookbook. I'm gonna do four looks for you guys. They're all summer inspired. So let's go ahead and jump in. Throughout this video, I will be showcasing these Beaumont horse bit loafers from Beckett Simonon. They were kind enough to send me these and they have legit been in my daily rotation. If you want 20% off your purchase, go ahead and use my code Mr. Martinez. You can thank me later. And before we move on, if it was your first time here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. We are here every week talking about men's style, men's lifestyles. We do reviews, we do lookbooks such as these. So if you're into all that, go ahead and support the channel. Hit that red button down below. Let's get back to the video. So the Horse with Loafer came about after a man by the name of Aldo Gucci. And I'm pretty sure you guys know that last name. He came to New York City and he was walking around and saw that a bunch of guys were wearing loafers and basically penny loafers but he didn't really see them as something that had that pizzazz he wanted to add a little touch of something to them that would make them more unique and give a little bit more of a statement to the shoe so he decided to basically make his own loafer and he added a gold bit on top of the loafer instead of the usual strap that you'll see on penny loafers and let me show you what i'm talking about so if you go ahead and take a look at the characteristic of the horse bit you see that it's very much a statement piece as opposed to having just a penny loafer which is just a strap over the top. I do find that this does make a bolder statement than the penny loafer, but this is exactly what Gucci was intending to do when he created the shoe. He then released a horse bit collection in 1953, and it's been in men's wardrobes ever since. Thanks, Aldo. So as I mentioned the history, just by adding that bit here, you make it way different than the penny loafer or any other loafer out there. And again, this does make more of a statement than just having a normal strap and I don't know, it just kind of elevates any look just by wearing this and you do make more of a statement by wearing these than just wearing the penny loafer. I do have another video where I do talk all about loafers, so if you want to check that out, I have that up here as well. Hold on, before moving into the lookbook, if you haven't yet liked this video, go ahead and give it one of these down below definitely helps out the channel. All right guys, let's go ahead and style these horse bit loafers in three, two, one.
There you had it, those were four ways that you could style horse bit loafers this summer. Make sure to subscribe, make sure to hit that notification bell to get notifications every time I post a new video. Next week, we are going to do a video on vests and pants, so make sure you don't miss that. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, style up. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you haven't joined La Familia yet, go ahead and hit the button up there. And I have another recommended video for you right over there. And as always, style up.